We have to pick out a lucky cart. Ooh. This one over here is calling to me. This one right here. Look at the little birds. What to do? What to do? What to do? Ooh. That is one bougie looking elephant right there. Wheelbarrow. Oh. Oh. Somebody's very sad. They just broke something. Okay, all you school teachers, don't come at me. I know that was bad grammar. Oh, look what just got rolled out. Here I am, out at night again, because that's how my days go. I do not get to do my shopping until later in the evening. But it always tends to work out pretty good still. I find some great stuff. And there are a lot of sirens. There's stuff happening around me. Okay. You should see those lights flashing by. Anyway, uh, we are going to get into the Goodwill and see. I haven't been here for a few days, so let's see if they've restocked the shelves with some good stuff. And uh, let's go see what we can find to resell. Now, if you watched my last video, you know I did a little mess up in the recap. Uh, so, I am going to get that just that recap of that video uploaded over on my Facebook page. So if you would like to see the corrected information for that particular uh, round of stuff, that will be over on the Niche Lady Facebook page so you can get some accurate numbers and see what I actually bought, how much it's worth, and how much uh, I paid for it. My goodness, because sometimes my brain just doesn't work right. Uh, and also, I'd really appreciate, while you're over there, if you could give that page a follow, because I am literally only about 400 followers away from reaching a milestone of 10,000 followers over there, which is a really big, important number for Facebook. So I would super duper appreciate that. All right, without further ado, I'm going to get into this Goodwill and I'm going to get shop done. All right, you know, we got to do first things first. First things first, we have to pick out a lucky cart. Ooh. This one over here is calling to me. This one right here. And we are orange tags tonight. Orange tags is where we're at. Oh, they got this all filled back up with clothing again. This was quite empty for a while. So it's all put back together. All right, let's go see what goodies we got tonight. Mm oh, he's kind of cute. He is $29.99 though. He's cute, but he's not, not cute enough to pay $29.99, not for me. We got some sugar skulls. I'm gonna try to find things that are a little bit more upscale. These are really cute. Paris. There's two cups and saucers and little spoons. And it all comes in this little like a lunchbox kind of thing. The Paris Collection Vision. For Ten bucks. It's a little more than I want to pay. I thought this guy would be chalkware and he's not. He's wood. Something Creations from Gainesville, Florida. It's kind of fun. You know, Father's Day is coming. $7.99. Do I want to pay $7.99 for you? I feel like you're worth about maybe 20 bucks. So $7.99 is a little more than I want to spend. And then there is one of these Asian cork diorama scenes. I love always the little birds. Let's see if I can get on a darker background. Look at the little birds. So cool. $12.99. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I don't know if I can do $12.99 and make the money that I need to make on that. Wow. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Price is going up. All right, all right. 
Hey, if we come out of here empty-handed, so be it. This is still here. I still like it. It is orange, so it's only two bucks. I feel like this is a good little whatnot item, so I'm going to pick that up for two bucks. Did you think I wasn't going to say it? I found poo on the shelf. Oh, I sold some trinket dishes today in my live sale. It's a little giraffe. It's kind of cute. Not overly excited about him. A little seashell sand thing. I feel like that would have been mounted on something else though, wouldn't it? Maybe not. Oh, this is the base of, I want to say this is a party light piece. Place tea light here. I feel like that's a party light piece. Could be blue sky, but it has more of a party light feel. They sell these at Ikea. We'll just get that going again. It's kind of a modern goofus glass bowl. All right, we may not find a whole bunch tonight, but oh, hello. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, pretty chipped right there. Your price is right. Your price is right. Do I do it? Do I do it? Because if you display from this side, you can't see the little chip. He has crazing too, though. Ugh. What to do? What to do? What to do? All right, I'm going to get him. I'm really trying to break myself of the knickknack stuff. I'm really trying. But then there's an onyx elephant. He is misking. Misking? He's missing. <laughs> One tusk. Again, it's the price that keeps me from grabbing him. Had he been $5 or less, I would have picked him up. But we'll keep looking. Is that a candle? There's no wick. It's a candle, but it doesn't have a wick. Oh, you're interesting. You look like Oaxacan pottery. What does that say on there? Looks like it's from Ecuador, so it is not Oaxacan. Warm wax something? Is it a candle holder? I, I think that's really cool. For $2.99, we'll pick that up. All right, let's see what else we got in here. I feel like, I feel like maybe this goes on this. I mean, I don't think that's the original one for it, but we'll put it there and see if somebody will buy it that way for them. It kind of works, even if it's not the original that is meant to go with it. What are you? Oh, you're just a cheap little flower guy there. My goodness, there's not a whole lot of seasonal stuff on the shelf. That's pretty wiped out. Okay. Ooh, that is one bougie looking elephant right there for $5.99. Now that's my price point. I'll take you. And oh, that's a doll chair. It is how much? $1.99. It's pretty, pretty beat up though. That's unfortunate. If it wasn't, I would have grabbed that, but it doesn't even sit right because it's so worn out. Too bad. Would have liked that. That's kind of a cool shelf. Look with the little Pueblo kind of miniatures on it. $12.99. Hmm. Do like that. Love. Just a little love sign. And a little tin angel. Tiki Toss. Why does that say Tiki Toss? I don't understand what that went to, that it would have said Tiki Toss. Oh, the strawberry box is still here. I looked at this last time. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't get it, because it's bent and it does not open, or actually it does not close, I should say. So no go on that. Look at this little miniature furniture. I wonder who makes you and why you were made. Some kind of a doll, doll furniture. 
It's not super high quality or anything, but that's, oops, oops. That's only $4.99, I'll grab it. And then this one is more like a jewelry box. That one's $12.99, so we will not grab that one. All right, that is Capice Shell. It's kind of nice. Oh, I like this love sign because it's kind of mirrored. So $3.99. Hmm, I don't really need it though, and it's not like a big resale item. Ooh. Look at those little succulents in there. <gasps> $4.99. That's for personal. Oh, that's like a gourd. And that's like a coconut little vase. Neither of which are something that we need to be picking up. And that's a little wood plate with maple leaves. Oh, are you coasters? I do love picking up. Yeah, it's got, I think it's got coasters in it for $4.99. I just bought some other ones like this too. I just can't tell for sure if that's got the coasters in it. All right. See if we can get in there and look. Stand by. And yes, it does. So we'll pick that up for $4.99. Okay, I've been finding some cute bird houses. This one is La Bird Cafe. I don't know what's going on with these little windows. I guess that's kind of like their little entrances in. Looking to see if it comes apart for cleaning. I'm not really seeing that, unfortunately. So it's more decorative than anything else. It is only $2.99 though, so we'll grab that. Oh, let's see. We're in the metals, nice little cast iron trivets. They don't bring much though. It's an interesting mirror thing. Wow, neat shape to it. What is that? contemporary. It's a cute little tin jar. Riley's Toffee made in England. Halifax. That's really cute. If it wasn't so scraped up I would probably get that. It's a little too scratched up for my taste. Oh this is a fish and a pig. Yeah I think I'm gonna leave them though. Oh the little Snoopy dog is still here waiting for a new home. Nobody's given love to the Snoopy dog. All right, let's see. Glass vase. All right, oh, it's intriguing to see what comes in a little vintage. Oh, look. Oh, my. That's uh, quite extravagant, actually. Huh. Goodness. I like the pot that these fake flowers are in. But that would be really hard to get those out of there because it's all like glued in. Then I could use it for something else. But what do we have? Sandy Zen. Little Zen gardens for $14.99. It's an interesting vase. Oh, you know what? This goes down the middle of it like so. That's how that goes. little wheelbarrow. Oh, oh, somebody's very sad. They just broke something. Must have been something cool because she was really upset that that broke. Oh, I like this. It says you got this. I put that in front of me all the time so that uh, it's a mud pie too. I, uh, I've just, I put that saying in front of me all the time because there are times where I feel like I don't got this. <laughs> okay, all you school teachers, don't come at me. I know that was bad grammar. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get this one. Look at the blackbird. He is cool. For $3.99. And he is spotless. So yes, to the blackbird. It's funny because the more things that I put in the cart, the longer it takes me to edit this video because I have to. I'm looking under there. There's like a 
a Roman numeral um, date under there, but it's not a very exciting piece. Uh, yeah, so the more things I do, I have to research everything and put it in the recap. Which I actually did for last night's video, but somehow forgot to uh, actually put the the text in there that uh, needed to be in there. But no worries, that's all going to be fixed. Uh, but yeah, so I need to be a little careful how many things that I am putting in the cart because I'm making myself more work. And I do need to just select things that are really super cool tonight. Oh, look what just got rolled out. Let's see what exciting things. Oh, I see a Minnie Mouse mug for $4.99. I'll take you for $4.99. See, it's a donut mug. That one's $2.99. I think I'll leave that one. It's probably worth $12 to $15. I got the Minnie Mouse because I'm putting together, oh, this is another Minnie Mouse item underneath here. Um, I'm putting together a Disney whatnot sale here. Oh, I see something else back there too. So we got another Minnie Mouse mug for $4.99. Let's see what these guys are. <gasps> Mushrooms, little mushroom salt and peppers for $2.99. We'll take those too. Kind of like that farmer's market bucket but I don't need it. Table tennis. Interesting baskets. A little wood, little wood guy here. Let's see what you are. Oh, I like you for $3.99. You're very, very cute. I think I'm going to use that to put some of my, my crystal spheres and decorative items on my shelf and kind of keep them more contained. That's my thinking on that. All right, pinata. Oh my gosh, look at the puppies. Is this vintage? Is this a vintage little? It's a Keith somebody. That's really, really, really adorable. Let's see, Keith Kimberlin. I don't know. Not necessary. Like it, don't need it. Like it, don't need it. I don't know who you are. Oh, little felt guys. Toys and all kinds of things in here that we do not need. All right, back to our regularly scheduled shelves which just happens to be the plastic shelves right now. That's a bamboo bowl. We're always looking for something vintage, something Disney, something just super cool. It's gotta be good Disney though. And I don't see anything except maybe this pampered chef item. Let's see what this is. Easy Accent Decorator. I feel like those are pretty common and not really worth picking up. Okay, now we are in the dishes. That looks like a hobby piece, actually. Oh, that's a really cool deviled egg serving tray, or angel egg, as I like to call them. That's, uh, it's not just even, like handy to serve with but it's for storing like we're a family that doesn't eat everything that we make so this would be really cool to like put it back in the refrigerator and store it for later it's only a buck 99 I think I'm gonna get that I'm always drawn to glass plates and I always regret buying them because they're so heavy they're so heavy to deal with and I don't really like shipping them so I tend to not get them listed or sold anywhere and then I have all these you know, they're, they're amazing. You know, I just need to bring them down to the booth is what I need to do. Like, these are stunning. Look at these are blue, cobalt blue flower plates. I kind of love them, but no, I don't want to deal with them. That's the thing. I just really, really don't want to deal with them. Yep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be good to myself and not pick those up because then I would have to deal with them. All right, let's peek through some glassware. 
So yeah, those really striking blue ones are still here. Hmm, nothing else is calling me. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Except maybe a Bugs Bunny Pepsi mug from 1973 for $3.99. You know, they sell for about 10 bucks. I mean, they're not a huge seller. This one's got some um, dishwasher wear, so I feel like that's not worth picking up, unfortunately. We have some Marilyn Monroe glasses. Also have suffered the fate of dishwasher and hard water. And they've got that yucky film on them, which you can get clean, but I just don't want to mess with it. If somebody else wants to mess with it, more power to them. Uh, it's just not, not worth my time. But look at this. This is Las Vegas Golden Nugget. This looks like a treasure craft. Let's see if it is. Hmm. Don't have the little uh, TC anywhere, but I really feel like this is treasure craft. For a buck ninety-nine, I'm gonna pick that one up. Let's look through, see if there's any other exciting mugs. I don't see any. Nope. My goodness, they have a whole bucket of mugs down here. Goodness, yeah, these are just a mix of things that looks like they pulled off the shelf. Probably heading to the bins by the looks of it and there was some broken stuff in there that's really pretty but again it's that modern day goofus glass even though it's in really good condition I'm skeptical of how easy this is to scratch those are kind of cute St. Martin email de Limoges decore a la main a la marino I don't know what all that means but I do kind of like the plates. $4.99 though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like them enough. I just don't like them enough. Oops. That was loud. I don't know what that scene is. Praha? Hmm. Let's see what this little bunny planter is. He's not very good quality at all. Yeah. It's got a Made in China sticker on there. Just some bright blue over here. It's interesting, but not marked. At least that piece isn't. Let's see if the base is marked. Hmm, just has that on the bottom. Cool, but kind of a big piece to mess with, so I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. Carry it on. See what else we got. A box. What's in you? Or a candle. Happy anniversary candle. This is probably a German or Bavarian piece. Oh no, it's a Limoges. It's a Limoges piece for five ninety nine. dollars so that's when I like inspect kind of the edges and see what kind of shape it's in. It's not in the greatest of shape and not all Limoges is created equal. I feel like this would bring 20 to 25. So I'm gonna leave that one. Cute. Unfortunately, it's got some real heavy, heavy crazing. Salem China Company, made in USA. It is a vintage children's dish. You've got Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. You got uh, is that the little boy blue, come blow your horn. And is that Mary's little lamb maybe? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm looking at that crazing though. Can we overcome that crazing at $3.99? I feel like we can. And then I see chicken. Not very high quality chickens. Not a name or anything, it's that it's that, I, for lack of a better term, it's that ceramic that it feels like it's going to chip if you look at it funny. These are kind of fun, kind of cool. 
Who makes you? You're made by Royal Danube. Royal Danube. It says hand wash only. I can tell you those went into a dishwasher also. But that is why they say hand wash only. That's an interesting piece of, what are you? Gorgeous Designs, China. <laughs> That's what it is. It is kind of gorgeous. It's very, very thin, squared lip though. Also seems like it would ship super easy. All right. I like those bowls, but I don't need bowls. Nice mugs, who makes you simply perfect. I was looking to see if it's like a Pier 1 or a Crate and Barrel or something that's going to have some high value. This piece here, unfortunately, is really, really chipped up, but let's see who makes it if we can. <gasps> can we get under there? Oh, it's just got a barcode. It's nobody special, unfortunately. All right, pots and pans. Let's see what these little special doodads are. Nothing special. Hmm. No. Sometimes I look for interesting teapots and things, or tea kettles, I guess you would call them. It's an interesting set of knives, sunbeam. Nope, I don't see anything over here in the pots and pans tonight. Okay, let's see. Why is this piece of art over here? Somebody was probably checking it out. Office supplies. Little coffee grinder, but it has a lot of problems. Oh, look, another one. Oh, look, this has the same issue ours has. Look at that. School glue. Oh, googly eyes. Hehe. <laughs> We're still finding googly eyes in the store from our grand opening celebration and Jordan. Let's see if there's anything in the bathroom stuff every once in a while. There could be something cool like a little turtle. <laughs> I don't know, I think he was like a scent diffuser thing. All right, nothing here. Got a little Cinderella box. Oh, how about some temporary tattoos? Oh, they're mermaids. Oh gosh, you know who I have to get that for. Let's see. Anything special in the mishmash? What is that? Just a little box? A box with boxes? It's a box with boxes. That's what it is. There's a lucky elephant. Give the gift of good fortune. Okay. It's just a lucky elephant. All right, we'll keep moving. What do we got up here? You are a fish, 2022 fish from PetSmart Enchantment. Oh, are you like a dog toy? Which you are, oh yeah, he squeaks somewhere. Yep, he squeaks. I know, all of your dogs now have just uh, paid attention to whatever device you are watching this on, right? What are you? Are you a Nyla Bone? I like Nyla Bones. Actually, I don't like Nyla Bones. Keenut likes Nyla Bones. Nyla Bones are good because they don't come apart like a uh, like rawhide, rawhide bad. I feel like this is a little big for her though. But I think she'd like chewing on it. So I'm gonna grab that for peanut. And please, 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 I beg of you, I beg of you, please don't ever get and keep a betta fish in one of these. It's absolute cruel torture. Even though they'll live, even though it looks like, hey, it's a good thing, this is not a great home for these amazing fish. All right, look at this. Is this a dog toy hand-stitched, especially for you, by Lena? It's a, oh my gosh, I can't read that. 
Kam Kamitsogo Creative Living. That's kind of a cool, for 99 cents? Look at this little giraffe. He's kind of amazing for 99 cents. Oh yeah, and here's a little rubber. Now she doesn't like these little rubber ones. She likes the Nyla bones. I guess because they, they hold the flavor. Pioneer Woman makes dog dishes too. Oh, would you look at that? Probably not worth more than like 10 to $12 though. So we will leave that. That's a fun little, uh, that's a fun little chew pull toy, but that she doesn't need. So I don't even know why I'm looking at it. <laughs> Ooh, look at this candle. That's pretty awesome as far as, you know, how a candle looks. Can't burn it though. I would not recommend burning that candle. That does not look like a healthy candle. I recently sold a set almost just like this. I don't know why that's taped on the end on that one. They're $3.99 each. I just really, really don't have the time to put extra stuff on eBay right now and I've got to get the stuff that I have been saying in my videos is going on eBay so I'm gonna leave that for now and that's really the place it needs to sell too let's look see what lamps are tempting me tonight I don't like being tempted by lamps I don't want a lamp but I can't keep myself from looking just in case you know there's some mid-century goodness or something here but I don't see anything that's uh, pulling me except maybe the fish plate that got stuck over here nope you're not any particular maker you're just a fish plate I'm walking away from you all right art again I'm really I'm really trying to stay away from art I really am for those of you who really enjoy looking through the art I'm so sorry I just get so tempted because if I go through here I'm going to start finding art that I want to buy and I just don't have space for art at the, oh my gosh, it's really even hard to look through this art, but, um, yeah, I just have to be careful. Although I do like the love you more sign, but I feel like I can only put so many of those around for my kids to, uh, look at. All right. No art, no art today. Oh, the little blue table is still here. Why is that blue table still here? It's kind of awesome. I mean, they're only asking 30 bucks for it. It's a nice table and it's blue. I just don't have any chairs for it. That's the thing. That would be a good little aquarium stand if I had an aquarium that size. Nice little file cabinet for 30 bucks. I do like that. I bet that was super expensive when it was new. Super expensive. Oh my gosh, look at these floor vases. They're humongous. Wow, this one's almost as tall as I am. Look, like, here's my arm straight out. This, this is like four, four and a half feet tall. Wowza. I'm gonna peek through the tablecloths here. Well, bed skirts, pillow cases, nothing, nothing exciting. Nope, not tonight. How about pillows? Hmm. Let's see. I'd like to find another skeleton pillow. A lot of people were interested in that skeleton pillow. I'm still waiting for Carrie to get back to find out if, you know, Carrie gets first dibs on it. But so if you send me an email about that skeleton pillow, rest assured, I got it. I'm just waiting to hear from Carrie and see what her thoughts are on it. Cause you know, she watches the video and I say it's for her. So that wouldn't be fair then to go and say, Oh, well, sorry. Somebody offered me money. <laughs> I just don't do things that way. All right, let's take a peek. What is that? Toreador or something. What are you? Oh, you're little skewers. Oh, I feel like, I feel like you're very 70s. You know, the whole bullfighter, renaissance, not renaissance. What am I, what am I thinking of? What, what is the decorating style I'm thinking of? Gothic, no, not gothic. 
gosh, you know what I'm thinking of? Like um, Mediterranean? Is that what I'm thinking? I don't know what I'm thinking of, but yeah, let's, let's, oh, how much are they? $4.99. Yep, let's grab those. Let's see what else is hiding up here. Hello, little Dumbo. Who are you? Oh, a squishable. Squishable go. 10 bucks. Hmm, twins. We are twins. Includes book and set of two plush elephants. Okay, all right. What are you? Oh, you are a Paw Patrol. What are you? Oh goodness, you're a record, a race, all kinds of issues. You're a little Dumbo. Oh, you got your feather, Dumbo. That's very cute. Very cute of you to have your feather. You are from Disneyland. Hmm, $5.99. Plush is another thing. I've got to get all my plush out and listed also. Oh, team something. All right, nothing there. It's on this side. See another sound and light dinosaur. Oh, somebody was really into their dinosaurs and somebody cleared out their dinosaurs. 2001? Hmm, like a Midway toy. Would have come out of like one of those machines or it was a prize maybe even from Circus Circus here. They have like a carnival type atmosphere where they give stuff away like that. Got a little... I have a feeling like she spins, her little skirt spins. Is that what happens with Minnie Mouse? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look, another Dumbo. Somebody also collected Dumbos. That one's $5.99 also. I have several of those. That's why I'm not picking them up. I have, I have some. I need to uh, take care of already. Soggy dog. All right, I think that is all that is in the toy section for me tonight. What is, wait, what is that? Why, why does he have such long skinny legs? Who are you? Anybody know who this guy is? I don't know. He's a little creepy looking. I'm going to put him back. There we go. All right. I think that's it for this section. All right, we're looking through the purses. The first thing I spot is this Minnie Mouse boot. What would you do with a Minnie Mouse boot? I'm not quite understanding the concept behind that. And she is $7.99. Ooh, you know I like me some fringe, but this fringe is in really bad shape. Okay. Nothing too exciting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing's really calling to me except maybe this one. Who are you? Oh, you're not even leather. You look like you're supposed to be tooled leather, but you're not. You are a forgery, a fakery, a mockery of the real thing. Oh, look at this. It's got a little, little alligator. That's in really bad shape though. Interesting though. That's the thing. The ones that are like cheaply made are not going to stay in good condition. Valfy? Valfy? That's really cute. Look at the little buckles or hearts. That's kind of adorable. $12.99. I don't know if it's that adorable. Well, I think that's it for me. I am going to go ahead to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap, which will be correct today. And I'll tell you everything I bought how much I paid and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now.
what started out pretty darn slow turned into a pretty nice shopping trip. I am happy with the the things I got. I I, I have some great. I, I, I wrestle because I know there are some of those things that I bought I probably should have left behind, but I just can't bring myself to do it. But I'm getting better. I'm getting much better about being picky. Tell me if you agree down in the comments. Let me know if you've seen me being a little bit better about the choices I make. But remember, I am shopping for whatnot. I am shopping for eBay and I am shopping for my live sales. And now I'm shopping for things to go in my booth space at the store as well. So I've got an array of places that I sell things. Uh, so it's all good. It's all, as long as I get it processed, it's all good, right? We just don't want a pile of stuff waiting to be processed. And that's why I get a little pickier sometimes because I just have to be careful I don't get overwhelmed with stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, as this video is coming out, if you're watching it in the first hour, my whatnot sale is going to be happening at 6 p.m. Pacific time uh, tonight. So come on over to whatnot. There is a link down in the description that will get you $15 to spend over on whatnot and have a little fun. And if you've already been signed up for whatnot, well, come on over anyway, because it's just going to be loads of fun. All right. With that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.